It's time for our class act where we feature SoCal schools and what makes them unique. Today we want to take you to Magnolia High School in Anaheim. KCAL <laughs> News reporter Amanda Sarantino is there live to show us around and it sounds like there's so much going on there Amanda. You really have no idea. There is so much culture and diversity with all the students here. 1700 students are here for the hall and the Sentinels. This is the Polynesian Club right here and this is the president. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are all about. Yeah, so our amazing Polynesian Club here at Magnolia High School is one of those clubs that we try to make the unknown islands known and not just Hawaii. So there's just there's more to that. We have our Tahitian dances, our Samoan dances and so much more. And you guys are absolutely beautiful and they practice every single day and they perform throughout the school and also throughout uh, different events too throughout the area. So we're going to move over here now. This is our Vietnamese Student Association performing traditional Vietnamese music for us. And these musicians, I love this, they perform all around Orange County at all the different celebrations and events. So you can just see a little bit of what they're doing here and it's absolutely beautiful to listen to them, isn't it guys? All right. Keep on moving because there's so much more to show you. We have our Tanikling dancers right here and you can see a little bit of what they are all about. They are Filipino dancers showing us traditional Filipino uh, movements and what they do at parties and they perform at the school as well. So Queen and King Valdez right here. They are actually twins at the school and tell us a little bit about what you guys are about. Um, Filipino culture was a uh, um Tinikling was very, It's a big part of the culture. Yes, it's very original for our Filipino culture. And it came from a private uh -huh. party they made up. And this is how they used to celebrate. And this is a way to do it. And this is uh, honoring your guys' culture, correct? Yeah, and they also have Valle Folklorico as well. So you can see a little bit of what they are about there. All right, you know, what's a high school without having some cheer as well? Look at this Magnolia High School cheers performing some stunts for us this morning. Look at them go. Nice. Amanda Robles is the cheer captain here and she is a senior at Magnolia High School. This team practices so hard. They have dances prepared, cheers prepared, a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to see a little bit of what they are about. And Amanda, why don't you tell us about your guys' team? This is Magnolia Cheer. Say hi, guys. Our team is very devoted. We've been going through all of football and basketball season coming up. We've come a long way, especially for not having a coach last year. I'm very proud of everyone on our team, and I think that we've done an amazing job so far. Amazing. No coach, so challenge accepted. Yes. You know, what makes Magnolia High School so special? Um, the fact that um, I think we're very undersea with our sports, and I think even with that, we still continue to cheer and um, cheer them on. How did you guys persevere without a coach? It would have been easy. Yeah, for a while we didn't have one because it was just a student, but um, me and another girl, Darlene, we kind of like brought it up. We started a spirit squad and I think that was like the best part, still letting girls have a chance to participate in cheer. We have one now though, we have a coach now. Amazing, I love seeing all that you guys have to do. And you can see just how many types of different students are here. This is what really makes Magnolia High School so great. Can we get one last go, Magnolia? Woohoo! <laughs> All right, back to you guys. That's I, so fun. You just took us around the world in one little <laughs> plaza there. That was so I'd, fun. Right? Amanda, thank you. And that diversity is what makes Southern yeah. College well, And the so resiliency great. of this yes. cheerleading yeah. team to move on without a coach. Absolutely. Okay, we're, bye. Bye, Amanda. <laughs> And Orange County High School offers unique educational programs that are not available at other schools. And this morning, Magnolia High School in Anaheim is our class act. Our Amanda Sarandino is live there to show us around. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. You t we're talking about that this school offers things that we really don't see in other schools. And how many schools do you see? Two and a half acres of food production. I mean, you have this garden outside. It's absolutely beautiful. You saw the pollinator garden as well. But take a look around here. You have this big shipping container over here, and this is their new freight farm. It just started this year. It's only been here for a few months, and I want to take a look inside because this is a new revolutionary way of farming. And we have some students in here, too, that are getting to work. So we're going to come Come on inside. Ansley Sousa, he is the technology coordinator for the freight farm. They're doing some harvesting right here, and you can see what's going on. So, Ansley, tell me a little bit about what this is all about here. Yeah, so the freight farm is actually a new technology. It's an innovative way of farming. So, 
Do you want to step away so she can close the door? Yeah, let's get inside and we're going to close the door. Okay, there, there you go. we go. Cool. Yeah, so it's a new way of farming. It's pretty much the future of farming. The way that we use all this technology to innovate how we actually grow and uh, harvest and give food to our community. And since we live in a food desert, this is a perfect way to actually grow food no matter where we live. Whether it's cold or hot outside, we have uh, control of the climate in here. Yeah. So we're able to grow year round without having to worry about external temperature. Which is why it was so important we did close the door right there as well. So you guys are doing some harvesting, which is actually going to go back into your school community. Yes. So we harvest uh, every week and every month we do uh, sell everything that we grow in here to our food services for EUHSD. And we're able to use the lettuce that we grow in here for the students of our district and be able to provide uh, salads for students all across our district. And Ansley, uh, this has to do with actually the cybersecurity program. And I was surprised to learn that cybersecurity is going to go with agriculture as well, but it does coincide. Yes. So uh, now as we move into more technology area era, we're able to implement how we put technology and cyber together uh, and agriculture together. Okay. And I was a cybersecurity student for four years. Yeah. And I got into agriculture as well, so now I can mix both of them together and use technology to help agriculture move forward. How oh, absolutely fascinating. And yeah, fun fact. So Ansley is a graduate of Magnolia High School. He's uh, currently in college, but he is leading this program here for the freight farm. So I'm going to scoot right in front of the camera over here, and we're going to bring in Bianca, who is a senior here. She's doing some of this harvesting. So Bianca, come on over here. So tell us a little bit about what you're learning. Hi. So I'm learning a hands-on experience on harvesting, growing lettuce, growing greens. And it's actually really interesting because, as you said, who would have ever thought cybersecurity will hand in hand agriculture? But there is a lot of technology involved in this. There's like a lot of technical stuff in this that it actually does help grow my current knowledge in technology, as well as my knowledge about our community, about food safe areas and security and foods. So I get the hands on experience that I would like to have. And I also get the experience just helping my community as well. Amazing. Okay, I'll get you, let you get back to work, get some of this harvesting done. Doesn't these vegetables just look incredible, too? So, just another great aspect here at Magnolia High School. What great opportunities for these students to get as well. Back to you guys. And they are so smart oh, and no. impressive. <laughs> Amanda, thank you. A best background of the morning yeah. today. Time for this morning's class act when we profile Southern California schools and what makes them unique. Our Amanda Sorrentino is live at Magnolia High School in Anaheim to show us around and there is so much there to it has to offer Amanda. There really is. I mean, we're just out in the garden with all the food production that they have there. Now we're inside the new Jan and Ross Billings Innovation Center. Brand new, beautiful building here that they are so proud of. And it's all part of their cybersecurity pathway program here. Angelina Lee is a senior here, so soon to graduate, but she went through the three year program. Now she's a cyber mentor, correct? OK, so tell us about this room that we're in. So right now we are in the server room. This is where we house all of this is where we house all of our internet and you can see all these blue cables. They actually all connect to every single of the computers that you'll see in the next room. So it's really connecting everything here. Obviously a lot going on here. Angelina, let's move over here. So you went through the three year program where you've been able to not only gain a lot of knowledge and experience, but a lot of tools to help you in the next step. So what did you get out of it? So I earned two cyber security and IT certifications, one with Google and one with CompTIA. Um, so with these certifications, we are um, given uh, work opportunities or work experience to be prepared for um, a job yeah. right out of high school. Which is what your plan is. Yes. Okay, and what is that? I hope to work as well as continue my education in college through um, cybersecurity and computer science. Amazing. So this is what these kids are learning in school nowadays, cybersecurity. Angelina, thank you so much. So part of it here is these classrooms. They are absolutely beautiful. This is a cybersecurity literacy course that's going on right here. We have some students. Class just started. But what I said was this is the Jan and Ross Billings Innovation Center. So this was actually named after Janice Billings and her husband, Ross Billings. So you might remember uh, who Jan is. She is the former superintendent for Anaheim Union High School District, this building named after you and your husband and unfortunately your husband is not with us anymore but he was also a teacher here so very sentimental this school to you it is magnolia is a very special place to mm -hmm. 
our whole family, actually. Absolutely. So having a program like this at Magnolia High School, what does it mean not only for these students here, but for the whole district? This is a representative development. Um, and it's due to the leadership in the community, the school board, the leadership, and these wonderful students. Um, and I know that you are a big advocate of progressive learning for students, and this is just an example of that. Exactly. So it's really a symbol, um, the support that all of these people have for these students. And make no mistake about it, these are going to be the leaders. This group of kids will be the leaders tomorrow. So we need to do what's best for them. And career development, which cybersecurity is, um, is at least part of that. It's exactly that. All right, Janice Billings, thank you so much. Kids are learning so much here, setting them up for the future here at Magnolia High School. Back to you guys. It would be so wonderful to have a mentor no like her. Kidding. All right, Amanda, thank you. Story number nine is our class act. And this morning, Amanda Sorrentino is at Magnolia High School in Anaheim with a look at how these students are making a difference on campus and in the community. Class Act has taken us to Magnolia High School in Anaheim today, and we are highlighting all the different types of programs that they have here at this incredible school and campus. And one of them is actually a certification program. It's the Google Project Management Certificate, where these students have actually created these little guys, these clay creations right here. So this, as I'm being told, is just a prototype. So tell us what exactly this is. This is Nishi's She's a senior here. Hello, my name is Nina Nguyen, and I actually, I am one of the creators of these critters. And our, com our nonprofit organization basically creates these little clay critters, and we sell it to, like, to many students and many individuals that want to support charities like Chalk or St. Jude. And yeah, that's, we basically, our purpose is to aid those who are going through, who are facing mental health challenges by creating these cl critters and selling it. And this is all part of a certification program through Google setting you guys up. So what does it mean to have the opportunity to get those kinds of certifications? It gives us like the knowledge, like it enhances our perspective on how we should be running a business, how we can sell these, advertise. And by having all of these wonderful people here, I have realized that by having this team and by having this opportunity to even start a organization, we could go far with it. We're gonna actually head outside now to another program, but uh, this program is actually, people have to pay to get that certificate, but here the district has a, um, an agreement with Google, so these students are able to do it. So all English seniors here are getting that certificate. Now we're moving outside to the adult transition program, and this is for 18 to 22 year olds. There is 26 students in total here. Renee, tell us a little bit of what you're working on. I'm working on cycling bouquets. They're absolutely beautiful. What do you like about doing this? It's fun and relaxing. You get to work with so many different types of plants. Awesome. What have you learned through this program? Well, I learned that some plants grow in the sun and shade. Very cool. And look how beautiful these succulents are. So these um, are actually part of a micro business in this program. This is one of their teachers here. Tell us a little bit about the adult transition program. So um, our program is a community-based program and our students get three days a week of work experience out in the community, one day of community-based instruction, and then one day of classroom instruction. So part of that classroom instruction is creating a micro business so that they started it from the ground up. They planted everything you see out here today, then they cut the flowers, they cut the succulents. The whole process. The whole process, and then they sell the, the products, and then they um, send out an advertisement for them, They collect the money so every every aspect of the business the students are involved in absolutely this is just incredible to see all these different learning opportunities here so magnolia high school really offering uh learning opportunities for people of all ages we saw cybersecurity, we saw different things with cultures and then of all ages and abilities as well a lot of great things happening here in anaheim i'm amanda starantino kcal news great work by everyone at magnolia high school amanda thank you so much there